Thank you, Barry Moore. Now, I also, before we move on, I, I want to say congratulations. Uh, six daytime Emmy nominations. Thank That's you. fantastic. Wow. Well deserved for your, for your show. Yeah, enjoy it. I feel like. Um, relief is a huge definition of joy right now, too. Yes. Like, just to be relieved. Like, I'm so relieved that it's working, that we get to stay. You get to keep doing the show. You're, I'm you're a third way season. too attached to it. All of my worth and happiness is in the show. It's yeah, really... They say that's very healthy. They I say tie yourself... Tie yourself to your work. Let that be the only thing that brings you <laughs> happiness in a stand. It's, yeah. it's so true. <laughs> I'm, like, way too invested. I... And, you know, season to season, you don't know, and so you're kind of going to that finish line, and you just are like, you see the precipice, and you get more and more increasingly depressed at the idea of it not coming back. And, you know, everyone's like, how are you? And you're like, I wish I could just tell you I'm so miserable, distracted, and screwed up. <laughs> Because I just really want this to continue. Like, and we're building is. something and here. And it is. It gets and it's, better. So it's I'm fantastic. so relieved. Well, we're very happy to share your relief with Thank you. you. It's, and it's coming across as palpable relief. I will tell you that as well. <laughs> hey, but I, you also find time to, uh, is this, cr you went crabbing. I, well. I feel like I've gone clamming, but I've never gone crabbing. And I want to clam. Yeah. <gasps> All right, so, uh, but this seems like a lot more gear involved in crabbing. Because well, clamming's just like a rake in a bucket. I, I really was no, trying nice. to this... be Nancy Myers. Like, I wanted to picture myself in a Nancy Myers movie. I had three girls with me and two dogs. This may be a better No leashes. Show. This is how it ended up. That's the chicken. Okay, That's so you, the put, bait. you put chicken just inside. Just a nice uh... raw piece of salmonella chicken hanging okay. out. That's the back of my minivan. Great. And I, and, and Olive went at one point, because she's very, like, rough and tumble, like, cool girl. And she just threw the whole buck in it at one point. And I was like, Olive, that doesn't have holes. It's going to. And there it was, just then floating down the river. And I was like, we just littered all of God, no! And, and then this kayaker woman came by, and she started screaming at me. And then I was like, of course, I wanted to just, like, light into her. But I had the three girls with me, so I was like, I can't did do she know that. Who, did she know who you were? I don't care. Yeah. She was just, she was, she was out for blood. Like, she woke up on the wrong side of the bed and was like, ooh, I'm going to take it out on you. And I was like, and I'm going to keep it together. <laughs> and she was like, it says no parking. I couldn't get my board in. And I was like, I am so sorry. I did not see the sign. And literally, two minutes later, she's still lighting into me. And I'm like, I, I was like, no, I heard you. And I'm going to get right on moving that car <laughs> right now. Little stuck, but right on it. And then another minute later, I'm like, I'm on it. <laughs> and I'm, you know, I just realized I'm not Nancy Myers. I'm yeah. jackass. Yeah. Have you ever? I have. I got the I, thing, you, and I'm so worried about her seeing the the, the bucket go down the river. Yeah, oh, no, that yeah. would have given her more you, ammunition. All of a sudden, she's kayaking back, making oh, another loop. Oh, she called the authorities. I'm have telling you. Have you ever been? Has anybody ever been yelling at you, and then they recognize you mid yell? I've had that happen, which is pretty fun. Oh, I, what was that like? I was running, and a car was coming out of a driveway, and they uh, looked one way, but not the other, and so they cut right into me, like where I was running, and so I had to dodge the car. And I'm not proud of this, okay? This is, I'm not a hero I was in this say, story. I what did you do in this? And I, so I like slapped the hood of the car. Oh. I was like, watch where you're going. And the guy was like, you watch where you're, hey! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to know that you react. If those yeah. kids weren't around, I would have taken out all my anger right back out on this woman. Yeah. She was That's ready good, to go. Though. She had the gloves on, she had the attitude, she had, was like a dog with a bone, she wouldn't let it go. She should, by the way, if she should also be uh, you know, cognizant of the fact that kids are around. It's amazing when people still want to have a thing where you're like, okay, I get it, I, I did the wrong thing. I but did. Like, I was like, I, I got it. I got the kids, I got the dogs, and I. You should have blamed it on the kids. Be like, they're the ones who parked the car. <laughs> <laughs> would you like a piece of raw chicken? <laughs> Is this a... Uh, Maybe you can catch a crab. Well, you sent us this picture as well. That's Lucy, my dog. Great. And is she just, is she like on the lookout for, uh, for crabs in this picture? She's on the lookout to make this as hairball as possible because, of course, I'm not there kind of controlling the situation. Like, I think I actually really, the truth is, I just, I am chaos. Like, I want it to be cute and pretty, but it isn't. It's messy. And the kids are running around and the crabs and the raw chicken Did and the dog. Did you catch any crabs? Not a one. Yeah. Because let me tell you something. You know why I thought you might not have caught any? Because the, here are the three pictures you sent. <laughs> like, this is like, hey, how was your crabbing trip? Well, we had, we had this and this and a dog. You'd be like. So we get in the car, and the kids all look at me, the three girls, and I'm like, 
gosh, you guys, that really sucked. We got in trouble. We littered. Like, we didn't catch a crab. I think we have salmonella. Yeah. And, I, and my little one, Frankie, was like, I think we get a C. And then Olive's friend, Olympia, was like, a C. And I looked at Olive, and she goes, D minus. And I was like, thank you, Olive. One above failure. That's yeah. it. I really like that Frankie gave it a C. I feel like that's really kind. She's much more optimistic. Yeah, that's Olive's a, that's more of a very, realist. That's a very big heart to give you a C on that. Well, to come full circle, I didn't grow up around kids, but my whole- Or crabs, and, I'm guessing, based no, on how that went. Yeah. I, I know, and I, I, need, <laughs> I need a lesson in crabs, so if anybody has <laughs> some crab tips, yeah. I'm all And again, all don't take it out of context. Yeah, exactly. I noticed a few Not scattered laughs there. Crabs. We've established what crabs we're talking about. Edible. One. The ones in this picture. Oh, yeah. wait. Oh, wait. No, there's no actual photos of crabs. But now I literally, my days are spent with kids, yeah. hanging out with them, having the best time ever, feeling That's, a that crabbing. That is really funny that you were a kid who hung out with adults and now you're an adult hangs out with kids. Almost exclusively. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, my whole life has actually flipped on its head. And, um, and I am happy li living in New York. I was a kid who grew up in LA. So yeah, I'm kind of on the B Is side it of nice? the record. Is it been nice? And to the, to the families, uh, did you say B side of the record and then gesture towards the band? Yes, I did. That is as depressing as <laughs> making, <laughs> making like, multiple jokes for stepfathers and you, then begging them, you, begging them to respond. You know those old delicious 45s. <laughs> I'm on the B side. And you're happy to be back in New York City? We're certainly happy to have you. I, I love that my life and the chapters took me here. We, someone said like, oh, this could be your forever home. And I was like, I don't know what my life will ever be. I, I we will always be on a learned journey. And then every once in a while you can stop and be like, whoa, cool. This is where I'm at now. Well, we're so happy uh, you're here. We're so happy you're here with you tonight. Uh, we're so happy you're feeling better. And thank you so that much. Voice you got that voicemail. That voicemail. May you all be so lucky to receive a voicemail like that. Drew Barrymore, everybody. The Drew Barrymore, I love you too. Drew Barrymore Show airs weekdays, so check your local listings. We'll be right back with Chris Parnell.